Hey, he was my dad. He was called Tony. He was an amazing character. I guess everybody says that about their dad, but he really was an amazing character. If you walked into a room, you would remember him. He lit up a room. He was a paramedic, very caring, very charismatic. For me, he was my go-to guy. If I felt sad, upset, lonely, dad, I thought always had the answers. They may not have been right, but as a child, I remember thinking my dad, he knew everything. He had the answer to everything. In AA, we have a higher power to help us with recovery, a kind of a go-to person that we can speak to, get advice from, and dad is my higher power, so my spiritual, my spiritual guide, my go-to. He was ill for a number of years uh, beforehand. I was pregnant uh, with my second child, Oscar. But this time I knew, I knew that this was the last time that I was gonna see my dad alive. The bracelet was there already. Uh, I had the cross done because my mum believed that the devil with Ross on my shoulder was perhaps causing me some issues and some bad luck. Uh, I was having difficulty getting into recovery from alcoholism and for some reason she felt the devil may be causing some, some issues even though I've got an angel on the other shoulder with, with Oscar. So I then got a cross added to the bracelet and when Dad passed I really wanted to symbolize that in some way and I thought that that was a was a nice way. I got it done at the same time as One Day at a Time which is a, an alcoholism recovery saying of taking one day at a time not drinking for serenity so I had it done at the same time as those. I loved the writing that he'd done on my wrist so I had dad added to my ankle at the same time. The memorial tattoo is for my son Calvin that I lost at 22 weeks through an IVF pregnancy. Um, it was an IVF pregnancy. Um, we conceived two embryos. Um, they were twins. Um, and my waters broke very, very early, at 22 weeks. Um, we got rushed into Gloucester Hospital, where we got told we'd miscarry both of them at the time, and I had to stay in the hospital. I stayed in hospital overnight, and then um, about three o'clock in the morning, I went for a wee and discovered a foot down there and I got rushed into the delivery suite where they told me I'd be miscarrying both of them. I went straight into labour and gave birth to Calvin. My cervix and pain stopped straight after giving birth to Calvin and the labour pains stopped. They then told me that at any given moment it would start all over again, ready for Kieran. I managed to carry Kieran for those two weeks. I then, at 24 weeks, had the injection and left hospital and went back home. And five days later, I went back into labour again, where I got rushed back to Gloucester. Gloucester wanted me to go to Southmead because we'd already lost the one twin. They wanted Kieran to have the best chance. And later on that day, I gave birth to Kieran. 
He's always been in my heart. He's always been in my son's heart. Even when Kieran was a baby, you'd see him talk to somebody. When he was playing, he'd look over his shoulder as if he had someone there talking. You could see he was always supposed to be with someone else. And because he's always in my heart every day. Watching Kieran growing up and knowing that there was would have been someone else with him growing up. I don't think there's anything worse than losing a child from a parent's perspective. You'd always want to go instead of your child. You'd rather have them living than yourselves. Um, if it wasn't for the fact that I was still carrying Kieran, that would have been exactly how I felt. My memorial tattoo is for my two dogs, Fly and Tess. Fly died last year on the 25th of July, 2018 and Tess died on 25th of December 2018. I got Fly in March 2009 from a farm and I got Tess, it was back in 2006. Fly's personality is a bit of a weirdo, always like really annoying, like he used to bark all the time when everyone used to walk by, it could be anything, like a fly, literally, he would just bark all the time. He used to always be like really playful. He used to love his like tennis balls and everything like that. And, and he always, it always felt like he was like the bodyguard of the house. Tessa's personality, she was really like lovely, but he, she had like so many problems with her. Like she had a bad eyes and everything, but she still coped. She was always happy and like waggling her tail. Um, she loved animals, like other dogs and like, people. Like she wanted fuss, like to be fussed all the time, but she had like really bad breath, so people didn't like doing it that much, but I still kissed her face, so. With Fly, um, it was on the Monday, I noticed he had like quite rad, a red patch on his thigh, but like, I didn't think it was much because well, he's a bit of a baby with pain. I kept like calling him up throughout the day, like calling my mum and everything, just checking up on him to make sure he was okay. It was weird, like he just wasn't his self, but I had to go and see my nan because she was in hospital. So like, oh God. So like I left him, but I felt really bad. And we found out it was an adverse bike. And I was with my brother and he kept getting phone calls from him. And I knew that like something was up. I just, oh, it was weird. I just didn't think, I was trying to not think the worst because everyone thinks the worst and it's not usually that. And then as I was getting out of the car and he, like Adam just looked at me and my brother and he just, yeah, I could tell that it was just really, really bad. And I got out and he was in the boot and he was dead in the boot. And like they always say like like the last person they see is like the last person they remember. So I still feel guilty that I wasn't there for him. And then Tess, she was like she wasn't herself for a few weeks. Well, she was old. She was I think she was about 13 or 12. So we knew with her it was just old age. So we was prepared for that, but for Fly, we just wasn't prepared for it. My stepdad said, always like says, you always get that one animal in life that like you'll never get again. I wanted to get a paw print for my tattoo because it represents Fly and Tess and it re represents a dog in my eyes. And then I wanted a flower because it represents beauty and love. Thank you.